Hi, everyone. Hi. Welcome back. Today's Thursday, and we're going to start with our number talk, which is true or false. So today we are going back to adding and subtracting because we're always going to see it, and we want to make sure that we remember what strategies we can use, and we're always practicing. So today our our um, equation is 18 plus 7 is equal to or the same as 35 minus 9. So remember, we're asking ourselves, is this equation true or false? And we have to show a strategy. We have to explain our thinking, right? So when we're in the classroom and we give our answer, Ms. Hikimovich, Ms. Rosales, Ms. Hernandez, and Ms. T don't just say, okay. They ask you, how do you know? What did you do to solve your problem? So that's exactly what we're asking you to do here. So we're going to take a minute to figure out, is this equation true or false? And how do you know? So make sure to pause your video, use a strategy that you are comfortable with or a strategy you wanna to use to challenge yourself, that's okay too, and to see and solve this problem. All right, when you are ready, you can press play to join us back. And teachers, when you are ready, just give me a thumbs up. Wow, you guys are speedy. <laughs> All right, let's start with Miss T. Miss T, what was your strategy and how did you how did you use it to solve our problem today? So first I did the algorithm strategy on this side of the equation. So I did 18 plus seven. So I drew it vertically because that's how we set up for algorithm. And I always do my ones place first. So eight plus seven. So I counted in my head, counted on. So I put eight in my head, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Mm -hmm. So then I put the five from the 15 in the ones place and the one in the tens place. So one plus one equals two. So I know my total here is 25. And then I was going to do algorithm strategy for this one, but I was like, hmm, wait a minute. If this is 25, I know how to get 35 to 25. I know that 35 minus 10 is 25, but this is not 35 minus 10. So I didn't even bother solving 35 minus nine. I just knew that it was false because it wouldn't match the same. Um, it wouldn't have the same answer. Mm, what a great strategy to think about. So we want to look at the numbers and what we notice and our prior knowledge and how we could connect it to our math problems. So Miss T, she used the standard algorithm, algorithm for this first part of the equation, right? The left side of the equation. And she knew that when she does the standard algorithm, she needs to line them up vertically so that the ones are um, lined up and the tens are lined up. And then she found out that it's 25, 18 plus seven equals 25. And then she went to 35 minus nine. And she knew that if she wanted to get to 25, she would have to subtract 10, right? Because we know 35 minus 10 gives us 25. But that wouldn't be the case here because we have nine. So 35 minus nine is actually one less than this. So it's 24. So we would say 25, is that equal to 24, Miss T? Nope. No, it's not. So we would put that slash to show it is not equal. So she is saying that this equation is false. All is right. It 20, is it 24 or 26? 20. Am I wrong? Is 35 minus 9, 24 or 26? Oh, that's a great. Let's check our answer because that would be a great one. So let's see. 35. Um, and then let's count back. Thank you, Ms. Rosales. 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26. You are correct. Thank you, Ms. T, for helping me out. It's okay. I was a little confused myself. I was like, oh no, did I count it wrong? No. So making sure that we're using our strategies to double check, right? So 26, but still 25 is not equal to 26. So she's saying the answer is false. All right, let's see if another teacher has the same, um, the same answer. So Miss Hernandez, what did you come up with? What strategy did you use? So I decided to go ahead and decompose some numbers. So down to friendly numbers, that'll help me do the math a little bit easier. So I went ahead and I started with the 18 plus seven. So I decomposed the seven to a two and a five because I know that 18 and two more will take me right to 20. 
and then adding that five more, that'll give me that 25. Ooh. And then on the other side, I have 35 minus nine, and I decompose a nine to a five and a four, because paying attention to the takeaway, I know that 35 minus five will bring me down to a 30, and then 30 take away that four will give me 26. So on one side I have 25 and the other side I have 26. So I see that they're not equal. So my answer is false. Wow, thank you, Ms. Hernandez. And I'm gonna revoice that because she used the decomposing or friendly number strategy. And she had she started with the same, um, the left side, just like Ms. T. And you can start with the left or the right side, it's up to you. But I think because we're so used to working from left to right, that we're, that I think that's automatic. So she decomposed seven into two and five because she's trying to, um, she was trying to move her number from 18 to a friendlier number and she got to 20. I guess that's a friendlier number for Ms. Hernandez. And remember, friendly numbers can be different for everybody. So it might be different for you. It might be different for Ms. Hernandez, Ms. T, right? So her friendly number was 20 and then she knew from 20 to plus five, it gave us 25, which was easier for her to do. And then she went to the right side of her equation and she knows that she can decompose nine into five and four to subtract five to get that other, to get another friendly number, the 30. And those are friendly numbers because we have just our tens and we can work with those and we have a zero in the ones place and we know what to do um, more easily with, um, other ones. So great job. So what would you say this equation is, Ms. Hernandez? True or? I would say it's false. False. Two teachers are saying that our equation is false. All right. Let's see our tiebreaker, Ms. Rosales. What, what strategy do you use? So I use the number line and I just want to say great minds think alike, Ms. Hernandez, just FYI. Okay. I also decompose the seven to a two and a five and the nine into a five and a four. And then I began my subtraction. I worked on this part first. I saw that we had 18 and on a number line, if I'm going to grow in amount, I need to put the 18 first. So then I needed to, I knew that I split it up into two and five, two specifically so that I can get a friendly number 20. So 18 and two more is gonna give me 20 and then I'm left with five more, which is 25. So that part is done. Then I need to go over here with 35 minus nine. Well, remember I'm subtracting, so I'm getting smaller. So my number 35 is going to be on the right side. And so looking at the two numbers that I pulled, I wanted to do the same thing that Ms. Hernandez did, drop this to a 30, which is a friendly number. So I decomposed it into a five and a four, took five away, that's 30. And then I just did bunny hops by one, and I went ahead and counted backwards and I got 26. So looking at these two numbers, 25 and 26, those are not the same. They are, the statement is false. Thank you. All right. So she did, uh, Ms. Her, Ms. Rosales um, did the, had the same strategy as Ms. Um, Hernandez. She decomposed um, seven into two and five, but then she used the um, number line to show her work, right? So she went up two more to get this two out of the way. So 18, 19, 20, and then she added that last five, jumped five, and then she got 25. So plus five, and that was her answer. So those two are out of the way. Now she needs to figure out if this part of the equation is equal to 25. And so she did another number line to show her thinking, but this time it's subtraction. So she started from the opposite side. Remember when we are doing subtraction on a number line, we are decreasing. So our number line is going backwards, right? We're counting back. So she started here at 35 and then she jumped five spaces minus five and then she landed at 30. And then uh, four more, one, two, three, four. And then we wanna show minus one, minus one, minus one, minus one. And then we counting back 30, 29, 28, 27, 26 is where she left off. And so she found the same answer. 25 is not equal to 26. So Ms. Rosales says that the answer or the equation is 
false. So there you have it, friends. Three of our very, very smart teachers used all of their strategies to show that this equation is false. And if you found the same answer, but with a different strategy, please feel free to take a picture of your work, upload it to Seesaw so that we can share it with everyone else. Um, we love to see all of your math work and your math thinking. And thank you for joining us today. We'll see you again later. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>